Hi everyone and welcome back to the Starseed Dragon. We are reviewing the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana uh, Fairchild. Artwork is by Autumn Sky Morrison. And uh, we just got started on these. They're pretty deep descriptions. And I'm not, I'm not reading the healing process part, just the description part. So um, we are on number five. Let me... Get that a little bit closer so you could see it. Hey, quit moving. Okay, there we go. So we are on number five. Follow your own rhythm. Deep within you, uh, deep within you are moved by an ancient powerful force that cannot be tamed. It is the rising pulse of your connection to the life force. You feel it within your bones, in your blood, in your heart, and in your belly. When there is something dying within, you sense it falling away, no longer needed. You sense when it is time to rest and be patiently in transition. You feel the stirring of agitation and restlessness when new life calls you to create, to act, to step forward and to take a risk. You know that you march to your own beat, that no one else can tell you what your inner rhythms are and that you must trust your own timing. You cannot be rushed or forced, nor can you be held back when it is time to burst forth. Life celebrates and supports the natural rise and fall of your inner rhythms. This oracle um, brings you the special message that you cannot miss what you are destined for, nor will you gain anything by trying to push yourself. Trust in the life cycles within, and you will feel the perfect balance between effort and surrender, discipline and letting go. When it is time for the rhythm of rest, you will feel a natural slowing within and be drawn into contemplation and environments that are more gentle, spacious, or nourishing, and perhaps more peaceful. When the rhythm of play beats in your heart, you will reach out to others to connect, dance, converse, sing, make music, make love, and share your wildness. You will be drawn to uplifting groups and places where you can experience a positive energetic exchange. Your needs will be met in harmony with your own rhythms. All that you will miss out on by trusting this is anxiety. What you will gain is peace. If you have also pulled the inner trust card, or feel intuitively guided to read that message now. This oracle has even has this oracle has the even stronger message for you that you must surrender your attachment to doing things the way others think that they should be done. Whether that be the hours that you sleep or the way you structure your day or your creative work. You must honor your need for rest and replenishment as well as your need for play. Sometimes an afternoon nap or trip to the beach will do far more for you than slogging away when you are mentally depleted and in need of rest. Sometimes you need to work when the energy is flowing, even though others may see, may say it is much it is too much and you must stop now. Let me reread that. Sometimes you need to work when the energy is flowing, even though others may say it is too much and you must stop now. You are an empowered individual and you have the intelligent and intelligence and wisdom to choose for yourself. Experiment with what works best for you and tailor your lifestyle so that it nurtures your best self into being. Well, that's a great message, even though I screwed up reading it. That's fine, though. 
We're all humans. Okay. <laughs> Number six, shock of the new. That is a beautiful card. Look at all the things going on in there. Ah, what wild, unconventional voice is calling to you? Can you hear it? It is so different and so unusual, it might be hard to decipher. Like hearing an unfamiliar language for the first time. It might be hard to discern with great clarity now, but there is an affinity between you and this strangely beautiful newness seeking to manifest. This oracle says there is a stirring at the deepest level within you. Something new will break through and the process of this birth may be a shock to you. The shock will transform into great joy and a sense of tremendous liberation, but you must bear the strangeness first. That strangeness might be something that rattles your beliefs about yourself and your world daring you to become more of yourself, more open to where life is leading you, and more willing to be the unique sacred art being crafted by the hand of the universal creator. Nature never shies away from strange beauty. She allows for endless diversity and her sacred works are often peculiar and stunning. You live within her field of creative grace as a specially created work that also creates. You are being asked to surrender any fear you may have of being seen as exotic, unusual, eccentric, or bizarre. You are being asked to make peace with strange beauty and to let it happen through you in creative flow. Perhaps you need to allow your conventional ideal ideas of beauty to become even more inspired and open. Perhaps you can allow your need for the world to behave according to your fixed ideas to fall away. You will receive so much more in its place. This oracle comes with a special message for you. There are rumblings and stirrings of the creative life force happening now, deep in the undercurrents of your being. If you are very attuned or sensitive, you may have consciously felt this already with excitement, discomfort, or both. If you have not yet sensed this, it, these inner stirrings, they are happening all the same. So be on the lookout for the big shift of new birth, the shock of the new, the unconventional, the strangely beautiful, and the disturbing liberation of that which is foreign stepping into your life. This is life creating the stage upon which you will experience greater fulfillment. Don't be nervous if the rumble of change turns into a mighty roar that rocks boats, bursts forth as novel ideas, and changes things in a way that is out of your control. This is life happening. Free fall into it. The oracle of the shock of the new comes to you saying, the old way is on its way out. You are being invited, dragged, nurtured, and coerced into the new. You can handle it. This oracle brings you guidance. You are about to encounter something new and different in your life. This is helpful. Don't reject it, no matter how small or insignificant or how powerful and life-changing it may seem to be. You are being asked to dispense with your reliance on the past and what have been your tools to navigate life. You have outgrown your old methods. You will have to fly by the seat of your pants, so, so to speak as you experiment with new ways to be. Life will show you the way. That's pretty groovy. I'm digging it. What a cool card. How many different things did you see in that picture? Next up, number seven, Legacy of Light. I told you these descriptions were really long. This description is uh, 
two and a half pages. Okay. Number seven, legacy of light. You are being asked to honor the legacy of light that is your sacred birthright. Take nourishment and support from those that have come before you. Your ancestral lines, <clears throat> not only in blood, but also in spirit. Perhaps these are the beings that have inspired and motivated you to live as a sacred rebel from your heart and with belief in yourself. The more you are nourished by the legacy of light from your past, the more you become a bearer of the legacy for those that will, that will be supported by your light in the future. This is a sacred endowment from the great universal source of light to humanity. It is the light of wisdom, creativity, radical courage, love and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next. The legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and shine your essence in, uh, into the world, to be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic of your nature. The oracle of legacy of light comes to you when you need confirmation that a creative choice you are making or have made or soon will make is one that is in alignment with your sacred purpose and spiritual path of healing and growth. The legacy of light cannot be ignored without some detriment to your sense of well-being. If you were asking about a particular question and drew this card, then part of the answer to your question is that the issue at hand is one of utmost importance to your spiritual growth even if it seemed like a relatively insignificant question. The energy around this matter is relevant to your sacred birthright to shine. Perhaps you need to trust more, to know that all is well, no matter what appears to be, and to ask for help and believe that you deserve to receive it. The Legacy of Light also asks that you call on the unconditional the unconditionally loving support that exists for you every day. This light will offer you a manner of assistance. To not call upon it is like starving because you believe you have no means to acquire food whilst a feast lays before your eyes, if only you would partake of it. Perhaps you worry that you are asking too much of those who wish to assist you. However, this, this is a mistaken belief. Those beings of unconditional love who assist us spiritually each day need to shine just as we do. When they are embraced for their purpose to assist with the spiritual growth of humanity through unconditional love, they too become a part of the legacy of light, shining bright with love and helping to illuminate the world. Although you may doubt your goodness at times, and being human does mean there will be some very dark moments on your path, this oracle affirms that you are coming from love with the pure intention to simply live your life and do your best in the circumstances in which you find yourself. You are being asked to avail yourself to help that is awaiting your request so that your own light can become a part of the greater shining legacy of divine brilliance made manifest upon this earth. This oracle is also guiding you to something in your family history or spiritual ancestry that is relevant to you now. Your spiritual uh, ancestry can be recognized through the traditions and cultures you are intrigued by and interested in. They do not have to be uh, the same as the spiritual traditions that you were raised with in this lifetime, although they may be. The influence of your family history and or spiritual tradition may be encouraging and constructive, but it may also be holding you back. Sometimes we unintentionally absorb the hidden fears of our parents 
or our religious upbringing, such as the belief that dreams cannot manifest or that we have to compromise to the point of losing what makes us feel truly alive. <clears throat> if you can relate to this or want healing just in case it is happening beyond the level of your conscious awareness, simply complete the healing process below. If you are involved in a group project, this oracle is asking you to stay true to the heart of why you began working together in the first place and to seek assistance, protection, and guidance from a source that loves all of you unconditionally. You can do this through the healing process below. Finally, if you need a jolt to recognize that you are a creative being entitled to explore your ingenuity, perhaps through uh, taking a class or pursuing your own artistic interests at home, then this oracle brings the particular guidance that yes, this is a part of your life path and you are encouraged to take it further. You are also acknowledged through this oracle as having some special creative and healing offering to make to the world in this lifetime. You will leave a legacy of light for the greater good upon this planet and you will be lovingly supported in many ways by the great creative universal intelligence when you ask for help. If you don't know how to do that, just complete the healing process below, which I'm not going to read because it is also two pages long. Okay, we're going to move along. That's a beautiful description. Number eight. Ooh, how pretty. Uh, this, this one, this, this card right here, this picture is the reason why I purchased this deck. Just so you know, it called to me and said, hey, you should buy this deck because of this picture. Number eight, be the hunter, not the hunted. Do you feel you are at the back, uh, you are at the beck and call of circumstances, situations, and relationships that are outside of your control? Is your attention being called away from what you love from your passionate focus upon your own journey and creative self-expression? Are you feeling roped into becoming a, su a support, tonic, savior, and heal all for others? There is a big difference between healthy supportiveness in a relationship, which includes healthy self-support, and ignoring your own journey out of misplaced guilt, shame, unworthiness, or the belief that the needs of others are more important than your own. That is not compromise. That is unhealthy and neglectful of yourself. You are being asked to see through the assumption, expectations, tantrums, or manipulations that may be put upon you by yourself or others. See through them to the truth. You can only sidestep, change your response to, or choose to release that which you can recognize. This oracle brings you some important news. You are capable of seeing the truth, outsmarting old patterns and responding more creatively to craft new and improved relationships. You don't have to be drawn into the dramas of others or the suffering of repetitive struggles. You can become still and intent with a willingness to see the truth. In doing so, you will be open to being shown another way through the inner wisdom of your heart or a flash of insight from the great universal mind that penetrates your own awareness. This oracle also brings you particular guidance that there is a message coming your way. This message will be important to you and you are not to paint it as anything more or less than what it is. Sit with it, sit with your heart. Take your time. Even if there is a deadline for your answer, you will be able to uh, bend and stretch time so that in your relaxation, you can feel for what your truth is. 
in the situation at hand and respond appropriately. The more honest your response without the need to be uh, aggressive or apologetic, the more energy you will be unleashing from unhealthy patterns and into the fresh new course of your life, um, the fresh new course your life now wants to take. This is a powerful time for you. No matter how seemingly small or how apparently dramatic events around you appear to be, know that you are stepping into a new phase of empowerment. From that place, a new freedom and self-love will emerge. Mother Nature offers you the wisdom medicine of the owl, the ability to hear what is not spoken and see what is hidden in darkness. Trust that you feel beyond experience, appearances. You feel beyond appearances. The power and magic of the owl is working with you and Mother Nature is by your side, assisting you in navigating the current life's transition into a new way of being. That is beautiful. I love it. Next up is number nine. I know it seems like this is taking forever, right? These are pretty in-depth descriptions. Number nine. What do you feel? There are many opinions around you. Some are helpful, but others are distracting you from your truth. Although it can be helpful to hear the thoughts of others, when it all comes down to it, you will have to come to your own decision. Do you know how unique you are? How your path is your path to be chosen, lived and created only by you? Someone else cannot become the source of your decision-making uh, power without negative repercussions for both of you in the long run. <clears throat> this oracle comes to you because you have become swept up in thinking things through. You have been thinking about uh, which way to go with a matter of importance and you have got a bit stuck in the logic of the decision-making process. Sometimes we have to accept that any path is a path forward, and if it is not the best path, we can change our approach later on if needed. If we are slightly off base with a decision, life will often shift and move to guide us back on track. We don't have to be perfect. In fact, there is rarely ever a perfect choice to be made, just some choices that feel more heart honoring than others. Sometimes we can only really know in hindsight if we made the best choice possible in that moment. At the time of decision making, we only really have our internal wisdom to rely upon, and that is all that we need. The oracle of what do you feel is telling you there is no need to punish or traumatize yourself with possible choices. Just making a choice will set things in motion. The best way to catalyze, uh, catalyze the situation you are in and bring about healing change, stimulate your creative juices and find more inspired, energized and enjoyable approach to your life is to just make a choice based on what you feel right now. Not based on anyone else's feelings, just yours. So ask yourself, what do you feel right now? And go from there. You cannot relate to the need to make a choice between two or more clear alternatives. Then the oracle brings you this message. You are at a crossroads on your journey and the choices you make at this time, even simply choosing to do things a little differently without much drama associated with the decision are powerful triggers for some great magic to enter your life. Take a different approach to something. Be open to that which makes you uncomfortable, but could be exciting and interesting. Even small adventures will yield big rewards. 
right now. It matters less that you do the most wonderful thing ever, too much pressure, and more that you simply take an action from your heart. Open up to the creative magic of life and don't worry about how it is going to work out. The bigger creative flow of life is sorting out all the details and you are not immune to that plan. In fact, you are a natural part of it. So just spend some time with your own feelings and know that all is going to work out perfectly. Yes. Yes. Love it. Next up. Oh dear, we're at 25 minutes. Let's see. I think we're going to have to stop there. And we will start on number 10 in our next video. So if you're enjoying these and would like to get a deck for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video to finish um, going over the descriptions of each of these cards. Talk to you soon.